everyone welcome to my channel so today I am so excited to be unboxing the lush kitchen subscription for April of 2023 now if you're unfamiliar with the lush kitchen subscription it is in fact not a kitchen subscription and has nothing to do with the kitchen it is a bath subscription with bath bombs bubble bars uh, shower gels all sorts of things from the lush company who if you're familiar with makes all those wonderful bath products now the kitchen from comes from the fact that they have a kitchen that experiments with new and different products and so in this subscription you get exclusive bath and body products so each month you get four to five vegan limited edition bath shower and skincare products the box is $49.95 a month plus shipping which I think is like six dollars here in the US I think it ships from Canada I know they also have I'll show <laughs> they also have the subscription in the UK so you can also get the lush kitchen subscription in the UK as well and they do have a community vote so each month you get to go in and vote for the products that you would like to see in your next box this is not a choice or a customization it is a community vote so you say yes I like this I don't like this and based on how everybody votes they may include a couple of those products in the box as well as other products that they curate themselves and with that welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there welcome if you're new my name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes including lots of bath boxes, one of my favorites. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing the Lush Kitchen box. This is one of my favorite boxes to unbox. I just love it so much. The box itself smells really gingery. Like the scent that I'm getting it is like ginger yummy goodness so i am excited to dive inside this is a pricier box i feel like bath boxes tend to be a little pricey but luscious stuff is really really nice um and like i don't know my skin always feels so good when i use their products so let's dive in when you open it up that is what it looks like there was also a paper that had like the actual details like when you make place a lush order on it but um, i'm not showing it because it has <laughs> my name and address on it um but i will say it says fresh from the kitchen it does have a lot of like bath bomb bubble bar dust everywhere and I my like complaint about the box is that they don't wrap things very well so I kind of have a feeling that might be my critique again today um, but on top you do get the card there's a QR code in both English and French since this comes from Canada that's why the French um, where you can open up the pamphlet so I'm gonna open up on my iPad but this month's theme is get grounded with calm and comforting scents um, and then it also has this pretty artwork on the back that you could display if you wanted to. Ooh, okay. The very first thing that I'm pulling out is a little fishy. It does look like it got like slammed into the side of the box here. And this is the color of like the thing that looks like it might've been messed up. So it's not that bad, but I, I wish they would have put it in like a paper bag. They also like, they're very recyclable. So like these are like made of cornstarch and you can just wash them down the drain. They'll disintegrate. So I do like that they have like a care for like the ecosystem, well, not the ecosystem, the environment and all that kind of stuff. So. I wish that they would just like maybe put a paper bag that could be recycled around it so it just the transit's better but this is this here um this is the poison um day of real this is a kitchen exclusive bubble bar this was a community pick i'm pretty sure i voted for this one so it says swimmingly delightful warm and spicy cinnamon and black pepper blend together to comfort both the body and the mind i really like this it's kind of citrusy I know that they use ginger in this because I can smell ginger and when I'm like looking at the pamphlet there was something about ginger on it but it's so cute I love the little fishy look to it um, it's a pretty a big bubble bar I mean I guess a lot of the bubble bars are this is probably like three maybe four baths worth for me I mean you could do it all in one bath um, but it'd be lots of bubbles but I do really really mm. it is a nice fresh calming scent and it is absolutely adorable all right up next we do have something that's wrapped nicely now this one's in plastic and it's sealed this is a soap bar oh it's oh, i think there's chunks of ginger in it how interesting this is the ginger root kitchen exclusive soap bar uh, it's a kitchen exclusive this was not a community pick um so it says you'll never want to put it down cleanse and relax with a stimulating fresh ginger root and ginger oil oh you can smell the ginger it smells kind of like and I know I'm smelling it through plastic. I'm not going to open it up right this second. It's, I mean, it smells a little bit like ginger and dog food or ginger and like wet cardboard. 
but maybe should I open it? I'll open it a little bit just to see. I just want to make sure I'm smelling it accurately. Okay, the problem is it smells like like ginger in a sauce, like in an Asian type sauce, which tastes good, but sometimes the smell. Oh, I don't think I like that. I'm gonna be real honest. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks. I don't know. It does say Lush Kitchen on the front, but like that. Okay, I'm gonna try not to gag on camera. I don't like that smell. I really. I'm not. I'm just not here for it. And now I need to try to get it back in the bag. And I don't. Mm. I do like the smell of ginger, but I just. This smells very savory kitchen, and it like it doesn't. I don't know. Like I said, it smells like a sauce that like isn't finished yet or like it needs like to be accompanied with something. I don't know. I'm not, I don't like that. I think that's a complete fail on my part. If you get this box <laughs> and you get that soap bar, let me know because that's the first time I've ever gotten something in a lush kitchen box that has almost made me want to gag from the smell. I think because it's a savory food type smell. So I, that's, mm, I don't know. If you get it, please let me know. Okay. on to something that actually smells incredible thankfully this is their yoga bomb bath bomb which was a community pick um to sit back and breathe easy as show show stopping colors unfold in front of your eyes while soothing oil banum resinoids and relaxing ho wood oil surround you this has like a sweet light yummy fragrance to it very relaxing oh it smells really good like this might be one of my favorite scents we've gotten in this box. So at least there's like, we're like switching it up. Um, very calming, very nice. I am here, I love getting bath bombs. I can't tell, like it looks like there could be color embedded in it there, but it's kind of hard. I'm not sure if there is or not, or if that's just stuff rubbing off from like other things in the box. Either way, this smells incredible and I their bath bombs just make your skin feel so good they're very luxurious all right up next we have a kitchen exclusive shower gel and this is the assassin shower gel so this is a kitchen exclusive it's a 3.3 fluid ounce um this is a killer good scent that's back to soothe um soften and calm with grounded grounding patchouli aromatic oak moss and fresh cypress oil um so this is a 3.3 fluid ounce or 100 milliliters I've said before this is like a sample size and I know that it's not actually people have corrected me in the comments I know that this is not a sample size like you can pay for this but this is not if you went to the, if this didn't say lush on it and you went to the store and you saw this on the shelf as a body wash you'd say this is travel size this is not a full-size body wash to me um, so I feel like for the price you should be getting a bigger size in this subscription I know it's not a sample size but like if it was not lush and you saw this on the shelf You'd be like, yeah, okay, that's, you know what I mean? Um, I'm curious on the scent. That being said, I don't, I feel like we get shower gels in like almost every box. Some of them are small, some of them are big, and it's kind of too much. But, um, ooh, earthy, a little bit of sexy, which makes sense with the patchouli, the oak, whatever. I think I like it. It's hard to tell. I feel like with these body washes, you can't tell in the bottle, but once you like squeeze it out of the bottle and get it on your hands and stuff, or your hands, your body, whatever, then you smell it more. It's a fun green color and I am excited to use it again. Like I said, just because this is a pricier box, I do wish that we were getting a bigger size of this. Um, but, and I also wish they wouldn't send as many shower gels because I mean, I guess I'm one person and some people order this and maybe have a whole family that shares a, a body wash or whatever. But for me, I'm one person. And it, I can't get through all of it on my own. So this one does smell really, really good. Um, oh, it has chicory in here as well. I don't think it said it on that, but here it does mention that it has a chicory infusion that takes care of skin calming business. Ooh, well, last but not least, we have something a little bit different, which is fun. This is the Skinny Dip Kitchen Exclusive Buttercream. This luxurious buttercream is packed with conditioning, creamed coconut, spicy clove oil, and warming sage oil. Ooh, so I'm assuming that their buttercream is like a thick lotion. It says here, fair trade organic aloe vera gel cools and calms a stimulating clove, clove bud oil spices things up. How to use. This is kind of like a soft soap. Oh, JK, it's not a lotion. This is kind of a soft soap. Scoop up a handful and smooth over skin to cleanse before rinsing. Okay, so this is like a thick body wash. Okay, buttercream makes me, I then, 
okay, if you think, if you hear buttercream, I, as a body product, I feel like that's a lotion, but okay, that's fine. Um, I'm curious to smell this. I don't not like it, but it's, uh, we, the coconut, I was expecting a different scent of it. This is what it looks like. So in some ways you get like two body cleanser type products because this, um, this is just probably more hydrating than that. Mm, I don't know about the scent. It's not my favorite. It's not bad. It's just, it's not my favorite. It has like that spicy warmth to it, but not in the way that I like it. Like there's a sweetness that's missing from the scent that I think that I would like. It leans a little bit maybe too earthy for me, but it's still nice. Um, so I'm not mad at it. And I'm curious to see how it, how it feels on the body. I've never used a buttercream before. All right, and that is everything that's in the Lush Kitchen for April. I thought it was fun with the exception of the complete fail of that soap. Do not like the soap, it is not for me. If you do get this box, please, please tell me what you think of the soap because I'm so curious to know what you think of it. Um, but my favorite thing is the bath bomb. It smells the best, but I also second up Oh, well, maybe this is I, the design of this is just so fun. I will always like the bath bombs and bubble bars more than everything else in the box because that's why I get it. But I do like being able to try out new and different things. Like that's one of the things I really like about it. One, they're exclusive products. So if you care about exclusive, this box is for you. But two, I when I if I walk into a Lush store, I'm probably only gonna buy a bath bomb or a bubble bar. But I do like being able to try out like a buttercream, which is something that I would have never bought for myself um, or some of the other things like, I don't know, I, or trying scents that maybe I wouldn't have tried if I was shopping online. So I do like that it makes you try new things, which I guess is what subscription boxes do. But sometimes you get little fails like this bar of soap is, okay, wait, sorry, I need to, <sighs> Anyway, I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I do pay for this box with my own money. I didn't say that at the beginning of the video. Um, I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. Please let me know all your thoughts on this subscription box down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.